Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're looking at AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC and Ape. This is the Sunday Outlook video where I explain what my expectation is coming into this upcoming week for AMC and for Ape. Now we have a big catalyst to be talking about in this video, which is the change to 8K as it could be actually referring to a potential buyout for AMC and Ape. So going to next week, we may have some massive catalyst. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end of this video. So without any further ado, let's talk about what I expect firstly from the chart from AMC in terms of what sort of movement are we looking for. So going off of last week, we closed above 623, we closed above 596. So what it's looking at right now is it's quite bullish. Obviously, we saw the resistance coming in around the 687 level. But nevertheless, I do think that this is another level that we have to test this week. Now, because the fact it wasn't a tap and we didn't even see us getting into the zone of 687 and 703 we don't have as much bullish momentum coming in as then what i previously expected so right now we are still not in a clear zone where we're looking at a straight upward path movement what we still right now is that we're still kind of debating and fighting to f see if we can stay above this 623 and so in this week, we are expecting more likely to actually see some more consolidation in between the zone rather than a straight breakout. Not to say a breakout won't happen, but because of the fact we didn't even see the price actually go in between the area of 687 and 703, we're not made of that much bias and we're still trying to fight for above this 623. So this week, if we can just stay above 623 again, it will be extremely good. Now, Nasdaq futures has already started off with up 1%. So the market is looking quite good, but of course things could change tomorrow. And so what we're seeing right now, of course, like I said, is the fighting for above 623. Now we do have a lot of catalysts this week as well. So whilst the technical is showing that we want to break above and with that we want to stay above 623 and break above the 687 and 703 area we do have some catalysts that could actually just trump the technical analysis and just bring us above that area but let's take a look at ape and don't worry guys we will be discussing the catalyst so for ape now personally for me again is understanding the consolidation between the two areas so previously we talked about how when we broke above 244, we're going to see a massive movement. This is exactly what we saw. We had a 10% candle when we broke above 244. So what an expectation this week is people are thinking that we are actually going to break above this 276 and 279 zone in the sense that we are actually going to be just opening above this area. So where we, as where we had this open, where there was a gap up, we're going to experience the same movement coming in for Ape as well. Now, if we actually do get a open where we open just straight away above the zone above 279 somewhere around the three dollars mark i do think it's very possible for us to see a test of this area coming in at 335 coming in for ape and i do think that that is very possible of course there's a pivotal area coming in at 350 now of course that is still a long way to go but definitely if we are able to get an open above this 279 area i think we're going to be definitely seeing a big movement towards this 335 area of course that would be very good now something that is normal something that is if we don't experience a open where we break above the 279 if we just open at where we closed off at this area what we're going to be seeing most likely is of course the consolidation in between this area now like i said consolidation isn't bad consolidation is actually very good if we are able to get a consolidation above and in this area then it will show that the investor base for ape is very strong previously we wanted to see a consolidation in this area in this zone actually below and now the expectations have actually gone higher we're expecting a consolidation in this particular zone if we are it will just show that more and more people are willing to get into ape and that we are raising the foundation step by step so that is something that we do want to see but of course going into this week like i said guys we are going to be seeing probably another test of that 276 and 279 but if we are not of course to break above it we're going to be seeing consolidation if we do just have an opening where we gap up above 279 then we're going to be looking at a movement where we're going to be trying to be contesting that 335 area but let's take a look at some of the important dds this week and why we could potentially be seeing fundamentals which is trump's technicals so firstly there has been amc has amended its august 4th 2022 ak filing now form aa 12b regarding ape share issuance and rules regarding conversion to amc it has added buyout slash reorganization amendments why amend the filing to include this language unless there is a buyout or reorganization incoming 
So basically, essentially, what they did is that, of course, like they said, they have re ch they have changed their filing. They have, of course, done um, adjustments. So under the section adjustments, language discussing what happened to AMC and Ape shares upon a buyout, a merger or consolidation. In the event of a consolidation, a merger or conversion of AMC with or into another company by a reorganization event, both preferred Ape and common shares AMC will be immediately converted to cash or stock equivalent in the new company before the reorganization event date. The conversion will automatically occur in our brokerage account. So guys, all of which I will be showing will be down in the description down below if you guys want to go check it out for yourself. But essentially, this is already what they've done now. They have gone out of their way to actually change the 8K to actually talk about this. So what we could be seeing, like we said, is a potential buyout. Now, obviously, if a buyout were to be happening, which is linked to you know, a company that I think everyone knows, Disney, then what we're going to be definitely seeing is incentive for buyers to be coming into Ape and into AMC. Now, bear in mind, Ape is supposed to share and have the equal value of AMC. So if AMC shares were worth 10 billion Ape should theoretically also be worth 10 billion. So if AMC were to get bought out, more people will be inclined to be buying into Ape as it will be converted to AMC. And so that will obviously cause a big push for Ape as well. And that's why already with news like this coming out, we could just be seeing an opening where it's above 279. The next piece of news is, Details of an AMC reorganization event must be sent within 20 days in writing to shareholders. We may get to vote on the cash or stock or cash slash stock settlement. So during the reorganization event, the buyout both AMC and APE holders may be allowed to vote on the type of consideration that shareholders will receive. Voting rights are a weighted average, i.e. one share equals one vote. We will decide on whether we get cash shares in a new company or a combination of both through a proxy vote. AMC or its successor must within 20 days communicate with a written notice all the details of the buyer or reorganization event and what deal is being offered none of the clause allows either amc or the buyer slash re new reorganized company to communicate the deal to shareholders so this is what they're doing this is what they're adding now this isn't something that is confirmed of course this is still a speculation but it is interesting why they have of course done this why they have made a new kind of whole thing all about this first guys comment down below if you guys think there will be a buyout obviously if there is a buyout it would be huge for amc because amc's fundamentals has already improved to a good level now if they were to be bought out by a company such as disney their fundamentals will be taken to a whole new level and of course this will attract more and more investors then looking at this third final point is Ape will be automatically converted to AMC one to one the next business day after the conversion day. It's very specific language in the amendment finding the fact this language was specifically added for the refiled. Yes, something big is happening. So essentially, what is this form AK amendments? Amendment finding tells us upon a buyout, Ape converts to AMC common stock at the conversion day. Common stock then will be converted to cash and or new company stock. Shareholders may be allowed to vote on the deal conversion whether to receive cash or shares in the new company details of the deal must be communicated in 20 days a proxy vote on the deal is likely and check mate so this equals buy off amc by a big company with automatic conversion of ape to amc one to one and then conversion of shares to cash or new stock equivalent anyone short amc must close their position or they'll be forced to be at the conversion date automatically buyout news forces a mobile event will adam aaron sell the 5 billion ape shares at market price allowing short to close position so either way what he's saying is that if there is a buyout they will be forced to close at the conversion date automatically and so of course that means that they have the potential to be closing at a higher rate and what adam aaron can do right now is of course offer the 5 billion ape at the current price it is at four ape and what this will do is of course if shorts don't want to get closed out forced closed out during the actual conversion date they'll obviously take this opportunity to be buying a at the current price at this current time in um in, in this date and by doing so of course there will of course occur a loss but at a slower and a lower loss than it would at a conversion rate when they had to be forced to obviously um close their positions but because of this, they will, of course, drive the price of Ape up as well. And so there are big 
catalyst coming into this week. And then finally, we'll talk about will be pretty easy for Disney to buy out AMC theater with 5 billion ape sitting for sale, especially with the automatic conversion language in the prospectus and filing with dev trigger reconcile share count. So a lot of things coming into this week right now for ape and for AMC. And that's why I said for technical, these are of course what we want to see. Feel free to of course play the video back again to talk to remember what I say about the technical analysis. But if we do get a big catalyst like this coming into the market, then we're just definitely going to be seeing the price of AMC and Ape going up. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I'll catch you guys next time.